At its most basic level, technology must make tasks easier. Adoption of new technologies will not occur unless this is addressed. This is the hope of blended learning, which takes the best digital learning tools and assets and combines them with the best pedagogical practices to provide a more efficient learning experience for students without breaking the backs of teachers. We can illustrate this through the teacher-student workflow. Let's start by taking a look at where we were about 10 years ago. The teacher workflow typically involved a computer, often with internet access in which the teacher could create digital content, which could then be shown through a digital display device such as a TV or a projector, or it could be printed, copied, and delivered to students. And once it was in the hands of students, their workflow typically involved writing notes, filling in some blanks, and turning that back into the teacher, which would then go back into a student information system, such as eSchool, for grading. And then back to the student and possibly parents for feedback. Notice how big the workflow is for the teacher because of technology and how small it is for the student. Now let's consider a learning management system such as Schoology and a content management system such as Google Drive. Together, they can change the way a workflow looks for both the teacher and for the student. Imagine how information can now be given to students. Online access to documents to review or even submit online. They can do research still have access to the internet, they can use digital tools such as calculators, use and take images and movies, capture classroom events, take notes, engage in discussions not just face-to-face -face, but also online, participate in group work not just inside of school but also outside of school. Meanwhile, the teacher has instant access to student information through the use of analytics and ways in which they can give feedback to students through the use of rubrics and online annotation and an electronic review processes. Consider now the workflow for students compared to that of the teachers. If combined with the ability to differentiate instruction we don't have to look at this as a workflow, but instead finding the right tools and assets that are best suited for this, that student to meet their needs. Ultimately, this increases the efficiency of the learning experience for students, again, without breaking the back of teachers.